Hello guys, Felipe the Wife Abroad here. Welcome to my channel. We would like to welcome you again for our new series of our wine tasting. We are here right now, here in our backyard. We feel like doing this film here because the weather is really, I think, fantastic. All right, so how are you guys? So right now we are ready with Chris to try another wine and what we have here is so pretty pretty wine and this is what you call the prophecy the goddess of fortune isn't it pretty we grabbed this yesterday in a store and the first time that i saw this like oh i'm so curious how it tastes like and i cannot just really wait this wine is kind of what it's a rosé from france oh it's a rosé from france Hey, Chris, have you already tasted this? Not specific, you know, that specific rosé, although I've had many rosés. The Prophecy, we like the uh, Pinot Noir. The Prophecy Pinot Noir is mm. actually pretty good. So the brand, the, the company makes some decent wines. Okay, so this is from France. This is from France. All right, so very pretty, right? So I cannot just really wait for this, guys. Without further ado, let's jump into it okay so it's been a while guys that you know uh, we did not post our wine taste let's do it well, normally you don't pour that much just to sample it pinky that's a hell of a sample oh really oh really yes <laughs> okay so next time yeah. guys you know <laughs> The world's biggest sample. I look forward to seeing how you taste that. Pretty, pretty. Oh. Not strong. I think there is a similarity with Riesling. So what do you smell? So what is in Riesling? Riesling grapes. Grapes? They're, you know. It's not heavily spiced. Sometimes you get some oak taste to it. Now this taste, you can smell, it's... I smell the oak. I can tell you, I can sense some floral hints. Floral? Yeah, I can smell some floral hints. No fruitiness, no spice. No oak. Oh, really? Oh, well, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't really highly recommend this. I feel that I will get tipsy when I drink like maybe or one shot. So yeah, for a beginner, I don't think that this is, um, you know, ideal wine that you're gonna try. Is it sweet? Is it bitter? Not sweet, not bitter. Dry, wet? Uh, not dry, a little wet. Thank you for guiding me. <laughs> yeah, but it's not dry. That Any is, spicy that flavors? That is a really good thing about this because it's not dry. Uh, there's none, it's not spicy. There is not. Any wood flavorings from the barrels? Strong. Yeah. I am positive that you can taste this barrel. It's kind of boring. Not sweet, not dry, not a lot of taste. So the good part about this wine, as you can see, mm -hmm. we got it on the uh, clearance aisle. So um, we paid not a lot of money for this relative to what we would normally pay for a bottle of wine. So it was marked off 75%. And we do like the Pinot Noir from this company. The, the Prophecy Pinot Noir is excellent. Anyway, so this show is actually for me. <laughs> Because Chris has already <laughs> has already tried a lot of wine, and so I think I gotta rate this like 
really four. Yeah, four. Four and is low. Yeah, and I cannot finish this bottle tonight. Well, so I already like four. And what about you, Chris? One more yeah, time? Yeah, I, I don't like rosés as a whole. I find them boring. I suspect we will not finish this bottle, but that's okay. This is a wine tasting, and we're just tasting to find out what we like. And on sale. And it was on sale. Yeah. So I'm okay with the price we paid. Correct. I would give this about a three. And, I actually uh, supposed to be giving it like 3.5, but okay. I'd give this a three, and maybe we'll drink it. Maybe we won't, or we'll save it for some guests we don't like. Um... So at Prophecy Wines, our inspiration comes from the beauty of the harvest and the possibility of greatness in a glass. Wines are drawn from our premier global vineyard sites, individually reselected to bear each of the varietals defining characteristics. Prophecy Rosé um, showcases the best of the south of France. Mm. The wine is delicate and bright with layered flavors of fresh red fruit, melon, and citrus, leading to a crisp and refreshing finish. I cannot flavor the citrus at all. Nor melon, you know, nor melon. But you know, it is really pretty. It is it? pretty and it is delicate. And yeah. it may pair well with the Chinese food we're about to have, because the Chinese food, this may be perfect for China, Chinese food, I don't know. <laughs> You'd go well with Be the careful. sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> sweet sour. Okay. Hey, Ginto. Ginto, what can you say? Huh? All right, so guys, that's all for today. And thank you so much for watching this another wine tasting series. We'll continue to support our channel, Filipino Wife Abroad. And please share this. And I hope that you like this video. And keep subscribing. See you next time. This is my life in the U.S. as a Filipino wife abroad. Maybe next time, this is going to be our bottle. We still need to buy some more wine here. Let's see. Yeah. This is the... Uh, Philippine map guys I'm just giving you this extra video because I need to make my video eight minutes <laughs> anyway so this is Filipino wife abroad thank you for watching again bye